on to our weekly feature, Smart Farm, and the rearing of Somali camels is gaining popularity in the country's arid areas in a move aimed at empowering women living in far-flung areas. Tonight on Smart Farm, we show you how the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization is encouraging multiplication of the Somali camel purely for milk production. Here's our very own Dennis Etienne. At Karare location, Marsabit County, Angelina Lenawamuro is aging by the day. But this has not stopped her from herding her camels, a tradition that has run through her family for many years. Initially, her family reared cows for beef and milk, but the negative impact of drought pushed her to seek an alternative. This market-like venue serves as a research center by the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO. It's also an educational center for pastoralists interested in rearing camels. We are encouraging Somali camels because one, Somali camels are easy, easy to get because the Rendiles and Gabras don't sell female camels. Somalis are the only people who sell female camels. Two, the Somali camels produce more milk than the Rendile and the Turkana. These are the Somali camels, specifically kept for milk production. Alro is using Angelina's farm to research on seed multiplication with a view to spreading the Somali camel within communities in the arid north. There are multiplication sites that we want to have, have as, uh, uh, as many of the Somali camels that will be availed now to the farming communities for them to improve on the camels that they already have. Somali camels, uh, they can adapt to these conditions very easily and give enough money for milk production within the within the periurban and the, the, their milk is also liked by most of the pastoral communities who have settled down. As the effects of climate change bite, Calro aims at improving productivity of the Somali camel in order to ensure increased wealth creation from farming. This is being done under the Kenya Climate Smart Agricultural Project. She sells a litre of the camel milk at a hundred shillings. We have got the camel milk being the highest priced in the market because of the quantities produced vis-a-vis -vis the demand. Though camels can withstand harsh conditions, they still need to be properly hydrated. The best option is you, you water one week, get maximum milk production every, every day, and you get the peak when the camel is four, month, four months old. Four months, the calf is four months old and it will take you up to 16 months, it will be peak production, then it will start falling. If multiplication of the Somali camel succeeds, then this climate tolerant animal could cut down on deficit of camel milk in Marsabit and beyond. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. <laughs>